In the growing space of Jamaican YouTubers, a mysterious figure known as Sir P has emerged, captivating audiences with his channel called Politrix Watch. Since his first video on May 3, 2019, Sir P has gained immense popularity, amassing over 340,000 subscribers and attracting over 145 million views. However, what sets him apart is not just his subscriber count, but the unique and daring content he delivers. Sir P's YouTube channel revolves around calling out dangerous criminals, including police, entertainers, corrupt politicians, and individuals within the judiciary system. His fearless pursuit of truth and justice has made him both admired and feared in equal measure. Jamaica, the focal point of his reports, is no stranger to crime and violence, making his mission even riskier. Knowing the potential consequences of exposing such criminals, Sir P has taken extraordinary measures to safeguard his identity. He distorts his voice in all his videos, maintaining anonymity and protecting himself from becoming a target. Despite this, his sharp intellect, charisma, and wit shine through, captivating his audience. The success of Sir P's channel is evident not only from his substantial view count, but also from the considerable following he has on Patreon, where many supporters have rallied behind his cause over the years. Among his notable callouts are popular figures like the record producer Shab Don and the incarcerated DJ Vibes Cartel. Sir P's social commentary is equally compelling, offering insights and perspectives on various issues that are plaguing Jamaica. In his pursuit of justice, Sir P has even coined creative names for criminals, giving them memorable monikers like kerosene oil for women involved in crimes, 87 for low-level male criminals, and 96 for higher-level offenders. Despite the risks he faces daily, Sir P has garnered the love and respect of most well-thinking Jamaicans who share his desire to see crime and violence minimized in the country. His defiance and persistence in the face of danger have made him a symbol of hope and change for many. Rumors suggest that Sir P might be an ex-soldier of the Jamaica Defense Force, adding to the enigma surrounding him. However, the true identity of this bold YouTuber remains a well-guarded secret, as he continues his mission to shed light on the dark corners of Jamaican society and fight for a safer future for his country. This is an audio file that was extracted from the first video that was posted on the Politrix Watch channel on May 3, 2019. It has been over four years, and as you listen carefully, you can tell that everything about the channel was strategically organized before the posting of his first video. Jamaican people are 2019 now. And if you stop make people trick you with nonsense and gimmicks, the policemen that chased the so-called rogue cops in Spanish Town after the Junior Biggs killing were not good cops. These cops are also mixed up in wrongdoings. So that's the first thing we need to address. And if you use common sense, you would have figured out that figure that out already. Let's play the story as all well them give it right. Junior Biggs is a known era leader. Anybody from that side of Spanish town can tell you that. Done. Right? The three men them come and kill Junior Biggs. Get in them car on a driveway. The policeman start chasing them. Right? A shootout up between the car that's getting away, carrying the three policemen, and the car that is being driven, allegedly by one policeman. Well, we will get back to this because I very much doubt there was one policeman in the chasing car. Right? Ask yourself this question when was the last time? You see, police risk life and limb to defend the life of a dead criminal. The policemen that chased the three rogue cops was in the party with Junior Biggs. The policemen 
that that chased the three World Cups are Junior Biggs, boy them. A Junior Biggs linky. That policeman, he wasn't chasing after criminals that killed a random civilian. He might defend him bridging. That's what you're not realizing. See, you fall for the trick. Junior Biggs bridging. That's Junior Biggs boy. Watch Junior Biggs head back. Why do you think he got through so much trouble? Listen to the interview with the World Cup, alleged World Cup, Kirk Fraser. Right? He said they were coming on as so much gunfire. You think this is an action movie? One man have one hand on a steering wheel because he must have to drive the car. And have one ma one hand free firing a gun, and he managed to out shoot three members of the mobile reserve, three experienced members. In one with one hand, shoot up the car and out shoot three man with, with with assuming one handgun. That's nonsense. And if you listen to Kirk Fraser, even though he was lying in a lot of his story, he kept saying, them are fire, them are fire. The weapons that they were firing on that police car were heavy weapons. Out shoot three man. And you have one hand on the steering wheel and one, I think this is an action movie. Come on, Jamaican people, stop being, stop being ignorant. The policeman that chased the road cops. A junior bigs bridging them. To show you how angry they were and, ups and how upset they were. After them chased the man them and the man them crash. They were so heated. Jump out of the car. They not only kill one of the road cops, but them kill an innocent man. Think about that for a second. Which good Samaritan police you know who is just trying to capture some, some criminals escaping, see people crash, right? And then see a crowd of other people will knock out, crash and knock out as well, and run go kill them too. The policemen that chase those three road cops are also road cops. So whatever situation is, thief or chase thief, criminal or chase criminal. Those were Juna Biggs boys them. Them watch him head back. And them bridging dead, them linky dead, and them are defend it. Listen, Jamaican police will stand up outside at Tivoli and hear war go on at Tivoli and them now enter. Them are make the man them kill themselves and then them go scrape up who forget to scrape up. You think police are brave so much gunshot? One policeman abused so much gunshot just because he's a good Samaritan. And he's a good Samaritan and I was just doing my job. Bullshit. I try to play hero. He ain't no hero. Thief or chase thief. Crook or chase crook. That's Junior Biggs boy them. Why when the police car crash? Why when the, the, the car carrying the rogue policeman? Why when it crash? Why them jump out of the car and not only kill one of the man them, one of the road cops, but also kill an innocent man? That show you how heated they are. Them come with blood in them eyes. That ain't no good cop. Which good cop? And them have to go answer for the innocent man they're dead. Right? Well, sorry, sorry, let me tell you about this is Jamaica. They should answer. They probably won't, but they should. They might defend them bridging. That's what those were policemen. That was in the, that people are trying to make out to be the hero. I'm a criminal too. Right? The only fact we have, we know the only thing we know for, for certain is that three people are dead. But all this, who is good guy, who is bad guy, the story is being written to make some people look like the devil and some people look like the angel. Believe me, it's a case of bad versus worse. 
Ain't no good cop, bad cop. It's bad versus worse. As Juna Biggs, boy, them. Him in the dance with Juna Biggs. Him watch Juna Biggs head back. And him go defend him Juna Biggs when him get shot up. Anyway, guys, like, comment, share, and let me know your opinion.